We're JoJo player now. We can do what we want. Right, Froggy? Guys, I did a thing. I did a thing. Look at me. Oh my god. I am a JoJo member, you guys. And so is Gigi. I got him his own very own little Joja Mart hat. And I also have a frog following me around. And I am going to show you guys how I got this frog following me around. I also went crazy and decorated my little house with all these new Joja decorative items. And I got a little statue here for Gigi. I filmed myself playing for like an hour and a half yesterday and it didn't record, so I felt really, really silly after I figured that out. But I can still show you guys everything I did. Basically, I crafted a bunch of new items to craft and show you guys what they do. And I also found these wild tree seeds and I planted some of them to see what they would look like. So if you're walking around your farm, you can probably find one of these wild tree seeds. I noticed it right away because it has two little like ears coming out of it versus the other farm seeds just look round and pointy and they don't have this um type of ear situation going on here so when i dug it up i was like whoa what is this green star and it's a mossy seed and it grows a wild rare tree so when you plant it i have um some mods on to be able to cheat a little bit hey guys i am a jojo member now so i should be able to do as i please you know what i mean jojo takes the easy route don't they so i can make it grow and it made one of those trees down there but it's always like random i want to show you guys this is the jojo oh hey don't forget to subscribe also you guys i discovered fireworks and i want to show you guys how they look because it's super amazing so don't forget to subscribe for me especially if you feel bad that i lost all my content yesterday don't forget to subscribe and i thank you guys for watching and comment below if you think i made a big mistake by going the jojo route but i don't think i did make a mistake because me and my sister are starting a vanilla co-op farm that we're gonna do the remix bundles on the community center and that's gonna come out very soon. So I decided why don't I do a little Jojo route in my own save. Over here we have crafted the Statue of Blessings. So we'll see what it gives us today. You right click on it each day and it gave me today, gave me Blessing of Fangs plus 10% critical strike chance. So that's really nice. Sometimes it increases your friendship hearts when you speak to people for that day. It can increase your, it can give you max energy for the day. Your energy won't deplete. It's just a really nice statue and I highly suggest crafting one of these and trying it out. And this is the statue, the of the dwarf king and he gives us a mining power each day so i really like this bombs cannot damage you because i i like to use bombs in the mines all the time so i cannot get take any damage from that today if i went to the mines over here i just crafted an anvil and a heavy furnace so the anvil is allowing you to reforge trinkets randomizing their step i tested out some of the trinkets this is your new trinket space. Once you level all the way up in mining and you go to the secret door, which I'll show you guys, you can claim mastery in mining and you can unlock this trinket spot. And then you can find these trinkets from slaying monsters. You guys can find these Book of Stars books from the bookseller who now comes twice a month. On the calendar, you can see that the bookseller comes twice a month and he actually sells a bunch of different books that grant you new skills and things. So the Book of Stars is one of them that when you read it, it's like 15,000 gold to buy from him. And you can also get it as a gift from the raccoons um, neighbors when we unlock those. I haven't even unlocked those yet. But when you read it, you gain all XP and all your skills. So this is very helpful for when you're trying to gain mastery in all of your skills because you're trying to go to the secret door that I'm going to show you guys right now. I also got the mod where you can see the fish swimming in the water because I just thought that was really freaking cute and I've never had it before. 
Okay guys, so here's the secret door that only a master of five can go in. So once you reach level 10 in all of your skills, you can go inside. And I have grandpa's music playing because I got all five masteries already because I did use some cheats, but I wanted to try all of these new recipes, so I just had to, you know what I mean? You can now encounter golden fishing chests, challenge bait, I'll show you guys what that is, and you get the advanced iridium rod, which can hold two bobbers at once, which is really nice. And I have the sonar bobber on there because it'll show you what fish you're catching when you're reeling in it. And I have challenge bait on there. So I'll show you guys what the challenge bait does. It basically lets you catch three fish at once as long as you don't mess up on the fishing mini game. The farming mastery gets you the iridium scythe, which can be used to harvest crops and excellent gathering hay. Statue of blessings recipe, which I crafted and I showed you guys today, it gave us the power of fangs critical strike chance and now we can find golden animal crackers which if you feed one to your an animal it will double their produce for the rest of all time permanently so i don't know how to find golden animal crackers just yet but exciting there foraging mastery allows us to get this mystic tree seed which i haven't grown yet and i want to grow with you guys and see what it looks like a treasure totem which we're going to try to summon and get a ring of treasure spots around us that would be really cool and you can find golden mystery box which contains superior items so these are golden mystery boxes and the regular mystery boxes look like this they have um, blue color. So these you can crack open with Clint, and I'm not sure what kind of items will be in them. Maybe it's some of those furniture items that we couldn't get from the catalog. Maybe it's just some random stuff. Who knows? We're going to try to crack some of them open. So you can find these mystery boxes on your own without cheats by hoeing at dig spots, fishing up treasure chests, defeating enemies, and mining rocks and ore. They can just pop out of anything. Kind of like a geode, in my opinion. And then... We have the Combat Mastery, which allows the recipe for the anvil and the mini forge, so you can forge at your home, and unlocks the equipment slot for trinkets, which are these guys right here, and like I said, you can get these trinkets from slaying monsters. They'll be a random monster drop. I hope they're semi-easy to get when I'm not using cheats, but this is where you can track your XP as you're go growing towards mastery on one. And then once you read Mastery on the first one, you keep contributing to Mastery on the next one. And you can choose which one you want to start with. So that's what this door is, you guys. And I'm so excited to actually work hard on it with my sister on our other farm that we're starting. And reach it all by myself and without cheating. But we're JoJo player now. We can do what we want. Right, Froggy? Now let me show you guys the fishing challenge mini game. So you have to have the challenge bait on... And the sonar bobber just is going to show us which fish we're catching. Let me show you guys. So you start with three. And if you fish perfectly, you'll catch all three. If your green bar... Oh, see I messed up once there. I lost a fish. So I only caught two. So let me show you guys again. So I start with three. I have three chubs on the line right now because I have the sonar bobber. It shows me the chubs. I got perfect, so I'm gonna catch all three. So yeah, each time you mess up in the mini game, you lose one of those three fish that you have on the line. So it makes the fishing game a little more stressful than it already was, but you know. See, I wanna go away from my fish because I wanna get the treasure. So now I'm only gonna catch one fish, a bream, and I got some treasure. But you guys, if you mess up three times, you lose all the fish. You can't even keep the last final fish. So yeah, you can't lose that third fish because if you see if I if I lose it again, I'm done though. So that's the challenge bait, how it works, and it's very, very fun. I recommend trying it. You can catch a lot of fish that way and sell them for money. Also, I grew a bunch of these wild trees yesterday because I was testing out stuff and we're gonna hopefully meet our new neighbor soon stay tuned for that he's a furry friend hint hint the last secrets i'm gonna be revealing right now in the mines are gonna be the trinkets i'm just gonna show you how they work i already kind of explained them but i want to show you them in action so we got our frog egg trinket equipped so we have this frog following us so let me show you guys how he does his thing 
but just watch this. He's gonna eat a Junimo for me. Ooh, hoo -hoo. he takes a minute to digest until he'll do it again. So if you just want to run away from your monster, he'll eat it again. And I love that so much. I think that is such a cute thing for a frog to do. Like the best pet frog I've ever dreamed of eating my monsters for me. The next trinket I'll show you guys will be the parrot egg. I'll show you guys the parrot egg. He's supposed to grant coins. A uh, low chance of it though when you slay monsters, so. Oh, it worked! 250 gold from that one. I did this yesterday and I slayed like 20 monsters and he didn't give me any coins, so. It is a very low random rare chance. Um, but that's what the parrot does and he's also really cute. Just look at him flying around you. Then I want to show you guys the fairy box trinket. So, a little fairy will follow you around and heal you when you're getting damaged by some monsters. So let's go find some monsters. Like this slime is gonna hurt me and she's gonna heal me. So she healed one. He's really damaging me. She's only healing me one. She's not helping me that much right now. Healing me two. Two, but she's really cute. So that's the pros for her. And I'll show you guys how to, you know, get away from the slime. I'm sick of this. I'll show you guys how to forge these trinkets and try to get them to be better. This paw doesn't summon anything to follow you around, but it does make you immune to debuffs, which is really cool. The ice rod. I'll show you guys the ice rod. It's really cool. It basically freezes a monster in your direction. Is there any monsters? Okay, look, there's a skeleton, so you'll see it go to work here in a minute. Boom! It froze him. And while he's frozen, I can attack him and he won't move. Froze the bat. Freezes them for 2.3 seconds. It shoots off every 4 seconds. That's a pretty neat little trinket there. Now I'll show you guys the golden spur. It just gives you a speed boost for 8 seconds when you critically strike something. Come on, critical strike. Am I faster? I don't think so. Oh, now I'm faster. See, it's working. So I got a critical strike on that slime, and now I got an 8 second boost. So that's what this golden spur does for you. Now I'll show you guys the magic quiver. It shoots magic arrows every 1.3 seconds, dealing 25 to 30 damage. So I'd say it's even better than the ice rod, because it actually deals damage to the monsters. Pretty nice if you ask me. <laughs> Every 1.3 seconds, so it's very frequent. And I can imagine finding that in a vanilla game would be so exciting because that would just be so helpful, you know? Did I show them all? I showed you the magic hair gel. Changes your hair to be prismatic hair, which is kind of cool. I showed you the frog egg, the parrot egg, the fairy, the ice, the magic quiver. And those are all the trinkets. So let me go home and show you guys really quick how to upgrade them. All you need is an anvil. You need iridium bars. You need three iridium bars to, to load a trinket in here. As long as you have iridium bars in your menu and you have your trinket, you can pop it in the anvil and see if you randomly get an upgraded one. I tried the parrot egg yesterday a lot and it didn't really do anything to it. It's taking longer today though, so... Oh, but I have time for the week. No, summons a level one companion who grants you a low chance to find gold when playing monsters. It's the same one. You can put the fairy trinket in there. Level two fairy, so I actually worsened it because I had the level three one when I upgrade it yesterday. You can put the ice rod in there. You're just gonna need a lot of iridium bars before you can mess around with this. Now it says every 3.4 seconds, so it actually got better um, because remember it was 4 seconds before and it freezes them for 2.2 seconds. The magic quiver works every 1.3 seconds dealing 25 to 30, so let's see if we can get that one better. Oh, no, it actually got worse. 1.6 seconds, 18 to 23 damage, so we need to fix that. Oh, I passed out. Okay. GG, it's raining again. What is going on? Let's put that back in because I want the better one. Every 1.2 seconds, dealing 24 to 29 damage. That's pretty good because that's really fast. Every 1.2 seconds. I like that one. Oh, we can't we can't reforge the, the pop because it just immune to debuffs. How about the spur? We can forge the spur. 
Now it gives you the speed boost for 10 seconds. So yeah, you can upgrade these things. Wonder if you can do the magic hair gel. Nope. So yeah, that is how you reforge your trinkets. How you even unlock the trinkets. I wanted to show you guys this furniture catalog because apparently Concerned Ape added like 200 new furniture items. So I wanted to go through and like see what was new that I could recognize. One of them was this bountiful dining table. That's definitely new. It has like some food items on it. I see spaghetti there. Oh, he added these decorative doors, which I thought was really cool for decorating inside your house. Decorative ladders, which I love. A light switch outlet and wall clock. Those are new. He added um, some end tables that come with a lamp on them. So that's really cute. And I hope they would light up at night like your indoor lamps do. He added... Oh, guys, just so you know, the Tree of the Winter Star. He added it to light up at night. So even though it's not winter, I'm going to place this baby down and see if these ornaments light up at nighttime. Because if he added that, that is just super awesome of him. He added this corn plant. I believe this decorative barrel, decorative hatch door, elegant vase, spirits table, wine table. He added, oh look at these, he added cushions. For the floor, which I love so much. You can put those next to like a tea table. That would look really cute. Triangle window. There's a Junimo fireplace, but it's not in this catalog, guys. I don't... Okay, so a lot of the things you cannot see in this catalog. They must be secret finds. So stay tuned and I'll try to find out where you can get them on your own. But if I go to this item catalog from CJB, I can go to decor furniture. And immediately i noticed like some new paintings that were not there before like the community center little painting that was not there before a little junimo painting that looks new to me as well oh look a junimo hut painting or oh yeah i saw this one the star drop i love that so much ufo painting i thought that was really cool aluminum can decoration these crystal balls with the colors of the gems are new decorations. The wizard's tower. You got Abigail's portrait, Alex's portrait. All of the bachelor and bachelorette's portrait, I believe, are now able to get. And I think you can get them after 14 hearts with them if you marry them. Here's a little art photo. Another art photo. A look now. There's a blue bottle decoration, book decoration. Um, there's a new birdhouse decoration. You can buy this from Marnie's shop actually the pinstripe bed i don't know if that was there there's junimo decorations now with all the colors there's a blue one right here there's a bunch of book decorations like book pile book stack there's a bulletin board decoration for inside your house if you want a broken tv that's new i haven't seen that before a brochure cabinet that's new as well this bountiful dining table we already saw a buried tire interesting that outside maybe a cactus decoration that looks new to me look at his little face the calico statue i put in my house cash register is a part of the joja catalog the cat tree oh look chicken decal oh that is so cute i really want to put that in my house but i'm going joja route so can't be wholesome in this playthrough unfortunately um i wish i could a fish tank a cc fish tank can we send a fish tank interesting a big giant cauldron. I wonder if you can turn it on. I'm curious. So now I'm gonna. There's also new wallpapers and flooring. So we'll look at that after. But a circular Junimo rug. Oh, that is so adorable. A clothesline. Oh my god, that is so cute. I love that so much for outside. A coat stand is new. A corn plant we saw. A doghouse. You can buy these from Marnie. And a cat tree. You can buy these from Marnie. I'm so excited to get those from my Gigi boy. A curly tree. That's here, that's me. A crystal ball. A cow decal. Oh, I see. So you can put this up in your house. On the wall. Oh my goodness. There's so many things. A dark piano. Wow. A decorative barrel we saw. The doors we saw. A decorative Junimo door. That's very cute. A Joja door. I'm Joja this time. Decorative sword. Wizard door. Desert fireplace. Desert flags. Desert rug for decorating maybe a desert themed cabin. Hmm. Who knows? Desert table. Another dog house. There's a dusty skull for your decorative abilities. Um, elixir bundle. Elixir shelf. All these different books. We have an exotic palace. What? 
as a furniture. That's really cool. Emily's portrait, elixir table, all these new fancy house plants which I love. Gray Jojo bookcase food pet bowl, just on its own as a decoration. That's cool, you must be able to water it, I'm guessing. A gray Junimo, green book, Harvey's portrait, Haley's portrait, hanging fish is new. A green Junimo mystery house plant decoration. It's in a mystery looking box, which I'll explain what mystery boxes are. Those are new things. All this Jojo furniture is actually stuck in my house already. And there's even a Jojo furniture catalog. A jungle tank. Wow, I love that. A Junimo bag is a decoration. A Junimo bed is decoration. Junimo bookcase is decoration. So you can go all junimo out in your house, you guys. Um, which I love. Look at all this Junimo furniture. A Junimo lamp. Oh my god, no way. The mushroom lamp. It's so cute. Junimo hut as a decoration. Junimo fireplace. Junimo end table. Dresser. Cushion. Couch. A Junimo catalog. Oh, that's cool. So you can like see everything all at once in there. Junimo rug, Junimo star, a stool, a table, a tea table, a tree. Look at this large wizard bookcase. Here's Leah's portrait. There is just so much new furniture, you guys. I am so in love. Look, messy shirt and clothes. If you want to make your house really messy, which I don't know who would want to do that, but midnight beach double bed. That looks brand new to me. Look, model planes on the shelves. Furniture reminds me of Harvey. A moldy couch. Disgusting. A fish, a mounted trout fish portrait. Love that. These might be some rewards from these trout, like the trout derby. I'm starting to put them together. I haven't done the trout derby yet, but this picture might be a reward from that for all we know. An orange Junimo sleeping, Penny's portrait, a pier sign, a pier to table sign, a plastic bag. We've got a big pirate flag. A pig painting? How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Plastic sapling is from the Jojo catalog. A potted red mushroom is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Purple Junimo. Radio desk. Retro cabinet. Retro bed. A red Junimo. Red books. Retro fireplace, which I think is so adorable. Retro flower. Retro lamb. Retro mat. Retro plant, retro radio, there's a lot of new retro items as you can see, retro tea table, retro TV looks kind of cool you guys, that little red TV looks pretty snazzy if you ask me. We got Sam's portrait, we got some six pack of rings, a short wizard bookcase, Sebastian's portrait, I'm gonna put a thousand of those in my house, just kidding, not kidding. Small Junimo hut, Oh, that's cute. These are previously furniture items already from the heater. Some Junimo plushies. We got a new square Junimo rug, a Jojo rug I have in my house, small Junimo pots. I love this starry moon rug, that's very cute. This stuff was here before. Oh, look, a topaz crystal ball, Sundoon's portrait, a trash catalog. Access a free supply of trash decorations. I wonder if that takes you to all the moldy, you know, broken furniture items from this catalog. There's a wizard chair, a wizard bookshelf. A wizard catalog so you can see all the wizards furniture items wizard bed look wizard dresser looks like dares fireplace wizard study oh you can make so many cool houses with all these new themed decorations yellow sleeping juno so yeah let's check out this cauldron oh we can turn it on so if you right click it it'll do this little green thing that is very cool all my wizards out there um let's see what this trash catalog is yeah it's just all the nasty furniture i don't know who's shopping in here but not for me i'm gonna throw that out right now um and let's look at this catalog you guys because apparently he added a bunch of new wallpapers and flooring so i'm gonna try to peek and find out what's new if my eyes will work with me here I believe some of these are new, but I just can't pinpoint which ones are new. Maybe these ones with the solid colors down here are new, because I don't remember ever seeing those. Maybe this one's new. Maybe this one's new. Oh, maybe this one's new. I don't know what that one looks like. The pink stripe one looks new. And then the flooring, there's some new ones too, supposedly. Let's see if I can find any that look new. Probably towards the bottom, yeah. Oh, look, these darker grass options. And pink grass. That's new. Oh look, Junimo flooring and Crobus. I see Junimos and Crobus in there. I love that. Ooh, some diagonal wood. I think that's new. Ooh, some other light colored grass. That's new. 
Ooh, these like checkered plaid ones look new. This little leafy one looks new. Yeah, and this dark wood might be new. Who knows? But I kind of want to try out this wallpaper because I'm... Is it just like glass window? Oh my god, that's cool. So it looks like a greenhouse kind of wall. It's like a glass window, you know? Hey Gigi, loving your hat boy. I showed you guys a couple secrets in this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below. If you're excited to see me and my sister do the remix bundles in the community center, that's gonna be coming out very soon. And I'm really excited. So in this solo playthrough, I'm gonna do the JoJo route and I've decided since I'm a slimy JoJo member, I can use some cheats in this game just to unlock secrets for you guys faster than I'd be able to. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll give you guys a little fireworks show to finish it off. Stay cozy!